How you doing? I'm Darren with Hash Kick and Barbecue. If this is your first time to the channel, then welcome. If you've been here before, then welcome back. Today, we're talking smoked over the top chili. Now, if you don't know what smoked over the top chili is, it's just a new variation of chili that has increasingly become popular on social media and there's discrepancies as to where it started, whether it was in the big green egg group or if Traeger started it. Either way, I don't really care where it started. I just wanna try it out for myself and see how it is. Basically, you just take your meat that you're gonna be using in your chili, you form it into a loaf or a ball, you smoke it above your chili until it's done, and then you break it up, incorporate it in your chili, and that's over the top chili. So sounds very simple, very straightforward. The chili recipe we're gonna be cooking today is also very simple and straightforward. And me being in Minnesota, I use beans in my chili. I love beans in my chili. If you don't like beans in your chili, don't use them. I don't know why it's such a heated debate, Texas but do what you like. That's my motto is cook the food the way you like it, your family and your friends like it, and it doesn't matter what anyone else thinks. So let's bring in and show you how we're gonna prep this over the top chili. All right guys, so for this over the top chili, we're just gonna use one whole yellow onion and get that into our Dutch oven here. Now I also am gonna put in one red pepper and one green pepper into the pot, just cause I really like green and red pepper and I think it goes really great with chili. Now at this point, we're gonna throw in one can of beef broth. I think it gives it a really nice flavor and we need some liquid in there. And we're also gonna do one can of kidney beans with the liquid just because, like I said, we're gonna be smoking and simmering this for so long that we want some extra liquid in there. Now we're also gonna do one can of pinto beans because like I said, I like beans in my chili and I think those two together are absolutely awesome. Now, we're also gonna add one can of diced tomatoes. If you wanna dice these yourself, go for it. I don't think it's worth the trouble personally. So I just like to go ahead and use the canned. And then we're gonna use one can of tomato soup, again, just for some flavoring and some liquid. So we're gonna go ahead and get that in there. Now at this point, we're just gonna kinda mix everything together and see how our liquid content is here. And it's looking pretty good. If we needed some more liquid, we could just add some water, or you could add some beer, or whatever you like to your chili. So that's looking pretty good. I think I'm just gonna add a little bit more water to it just because like I said, it's gonna be simmering a little bit. So that's looking about right where I want it right there. Now at this point, we're gonna add our chili seasoning. I really like the Suckle Busters Texas chili seasoning. It's absolutely delicious. It has really great flavor and you get, if you order the big, big container here, it lasts for quite a while and it's got everything in it that makes chili delicious. So all you gotta really do is, I like six tablespoons. If you add more, uh, that's how you get your heat level. So just, if you know, if you like it a little bit more mild, maybe use four or five. But for me, I've cooked this enough. I know that six tablespoons is perfect for me. So we're just gonna go ahead and add our six tablespoons of chili seasoning to the pot. And just so you guys know, this has uh, chili pepper, black pepper, cayenne pepper, cumin, garlic, spices, salt, all that stuff. So not a ton of salt in it, which is good because if you want to season it up with some other stuff, you can do that as well. But then we just go ahead and we'll just get this all mixed up and you can see once you start mixing it, it gets that really nice deep red chili color, which I'm telling you, this Suckle Busters chili seasoning is awesome. It's won awards, and I can 100% see why, because it is my absolute favorite. And as soon as you start mixing this up, you just are hit with the fragrance of chili, and it's just so, so good. So we're just gonna get that mixed up, and you can see there, like I said, it got that nice chili color to it. So at this point, we're gonna go ahead and get our meat ready for this. Now the meat we're gonna be using is one pound of ground beef. So we'll just get that open and into our bowl, like so. And then I'm also using one pound of Jimmy Dean pork sausage because this really brings something special to the chili. And if you've never used pork sausage in your chili, I highly recommend it. Now I went with 93.7 on my ground just because I am using this pork and the pork has enough fat in it where I don't need to use like 80-20. Perhaps if you were using just beef in this, you would wanna go with something with a little higher fat content in your beef. Now at this point, you just kinda of wanna break up your ground. You kinda of wanna get it mixed together so you have everything evenly incorporated. You don't just want one chunk of pork and one chunk of beef. You want it nice and distributed because like I said, we're gonna be smoking this 
All right, now at this point, you just wanna form it into a ball, like so. And then what I like to do is take my tray right there and just kind of see how it's looking on there. That should be a good size to put over the top of the chili. And then I also want to come in with a little bit of Tailgaters Barbecue Party Rub, and I'm just going to hit this giant meatball just to get a little flavoring. Like I said, that Suckle Busters uh, chili seasoning doesn't have a ton of salt in it, so we're just going to go ahead and add a little bit of nice flavor to this meat. Not much, just a little bit. Now at this point, we're just gonna go ahead and get this above our chili. And that's how we're gonna cook it. It's gonna cook just like that. We're gonna be cooking on the Pit Boss Pro Series 1600. We're gonna start this off at 250 degrees for the first hour just to get some good smoke on this. And then after an hour, we're gonna be cranking it up to about 325, 350 just to finish it up. So I will pick back up once we get outside at the Pit Boss Pro Series 1600. All right guys, we have the Pit Boss Pro Series 1600 running at 250 degrees. We're gonna let this smoke for one hour, get nice smoky flavor incorporated. And yep, just gonna set a timer for an hour and we'll come back out and check in an hour, take a temperature reading and then we'll crank this up and get her finished off. So we'll see you guys in an hour. All right guys, it has been one hour. You can see our over the top chili is looking absolutely awesome. We're starting to get some really nice color on our meatball here. So we're just gonna check the internal temperature. And we are sitting about 82 degrees. I did crank the Pit Boss Pro Series 1600 up to 325 degrees. And that's where we're gonna go ahead and finish this off at. So once this hits about 145 to 155, we're gonna go ahead and break it up and get it incorporated in our chili. So I'm gonna let this go. Like I said, we're sitting at, you know, 82 degrees right now on the Thermopen 1. But we're just gonna let this go. We'll probably come back out and check it in about an hour and see where it's at. So we'll check in with you in one hour. Some nice smoke rolling on there. It's gonna be good flavor. We'll see you guys soon. All right, guys, it has been an hour and 20 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and check on meatball here we are sitting at about 151 152 degrees so that is looking pretty good right there Just check it oh, yeah 153 there so at this point I'm gonna get this in the house and I'm gonna get it broken up and then we'll add it back into the chili it's not quite at the 165 but that's fine I want to get it broken up now and then I'm gonna let this keep cooking for another half hour after we incorporate the meat so that meat's gonna be completely cooked there's nothing to worry about there but we have fantastic color on the meatball here. So I'm gonna get this inside and we'll get it broken up. All right guys, you can see we have our meatball here. It looks absolutely awesome. Great color on there. So now all we're going to do, so we're just gonna go ahead and get this thing broken up, get it incorporated back into our chili. And it's still plenty juicy. Heck yeah, that's looking awesome. It smells wonderful. The smokiness from those cooking pellets, the perfect mix, is absolutely awesome. You got a nice smoke ring on the meat here. So we're just gonna go ahead and get our meat broken up. Yeah, there we go. So we got our meat all ground up. We're gonna get this back into the chili and we're gonna let it sit and smoke for another half hour, let it finish cooking, and then we'll jump in and do a taste test. So let's go outside and get this incorporated. All right guys, we're back out at the cooker. We're just gonna go ahead and get this meat incorporated into our chili. This is gonna be a really meaty chili. We got two pounds of meat. That's looking great right there. We'll just go ahead and get this all stirred in. Good consistency, not too runny. I like my chili a little thicker. All right guys, and there we go. There's our chili. We're just gonna let it smoke for another 30 minutes and it'll be done. Bring it inside and I'll meet you back when it's time to do the taste test. But yeah, just plan on 30 more minutes on the cooker and then it'll be done. So we'll see you guys in 30 minutes for the taste test. All right guys, it is time to try our over the top chili. It's been cooling for a little while. I got a bowl here that's been cooling for a little while. It's got a wonderful fragrance to it. It smells smoky, it smells delicious and I'm looking forward to trying it. I'm just gonna try it plain out of the bowl. I don't wanna put any cheese or sour cream or any of that in there. I just wanna try this chili for what it is and see how it is. 
So without further ado, let's go ahead and give it a try. That is wonderful chili. Number one, the smoke flavor coming through tremendously on there. It's not overpowering. It's a mild, delicious smoke. And the meat that we smoke has wonderful flavor. The seasoning is fantastic like I knew it would be. It's my go-to chili seasoning. This is a really great bowl of chili. And I mean, it's 45 degrees outside today, so this really hits the spot. What I find really wonderful about this is the meat is still juicy. It's not dried out. It's got great texture. It's got great flavor. Guys, this is an absolute hit. I'm glad I did this. And it was under three hours. If you got a little time to cook some chili, in my opinion, chili's best when it simmers and cooks for a long period of time anyways. And truth be told, I actually like chili better the next day after it's been in the refrigerator and it's had time to let the flavors kind of marry together. This is absolutely awesome. This will not be the last time that I make this chili. I highly recommend giving it a try. It's absolutely wonderful. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like, subscribe, ring that bell, stay safe, and we will see you next time.